Hello, everyone. My name is Al Smith, and I want to thank you for joining me once again for a few more Christmas inspirations from the Venerable Archbishop Fulton J. Sheen. Uh, today, we will share from his classic 1966 uh, booklet uh, entitled Christmas Inspirations. And our meditation today will simply be, this will be the sign, a babe. Fulton Sheen writes, If we just sat down and thought out how we would expect God to come to this earth, we would generally agree that it would be with trumpeting splendor, flashes of light, thunders, and in the midst of them, all full penelopied the glory of divinity. But this is because we come in our pride, judge power by greatness, because human pride had to be broken. The angels were given a sign, a babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. Since he came to save us from our guilt and not to manifest his power that will come at the end of the world, he was bearing the only cross a babe can bear, poverty and limiting swaddly bands of our humanity. To be our Savior, our Redeemer, our Emmanuel, he must enflesh himself in the very race he came to save, and not with one man or a few men, but with humanity. He must go down to the very rock from which we are hewn and put on our nature, not in its decorated ornamental form, but as it, it is the humblest and weakest. If he had come in any other form, he would have misled us concerning the purpose of his coming, namely to save us from our sins. The poor now could not say he does not know what it is to be homeless. The lowly could not say he does not know what it is to be despised. The ignorant could not say he does not know what it is to be childlike. He took on every form of humiliation of which our frustrated humanity was capable in order to show men how to struggle through the darkness into the light. To some it may be unreasonable tax upon faith to see a babe in a manger, but it is actually a sign of God's condescension to human weakness. If he had come in power and glory, it would not have been a sign just as it would not be of no sign or proof that the sun was in the heavens to see it shining at midday. If there is to be a sign, it must be contrary to what we would expect. But the sun that is eclipsed is a sign. And so is the God wrapped in swaddling clothes. I hope you've enjoyed this reflection from the Venerable Archbishop Fulton J. Sheen. And until next time, may the Lord continue to bless you and keep you. May the Lord let his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. And may the Lord look upon you kindly and bring you peace. God love you.